What Elon Musk just revealed about the James Webb Telescope is terrifying. It's been almost a quarter of a year since the launch of the James Webb Telescope. There is no doubt that James Webb is the best space telescope that humans have ever made before. It is therefore no surprise that the expectations it has generated and the discoveries it has made are exceptional. These are in fact some of the reasons why Elon Musk is so excited to take part in unveiling the mystery of our universe. In this video, we will discuss some of the discoveries and expectations that Musk has from JWST. So make sure to stay tuned till the end of the video. Hello everyone, welcome to Elon Musk Rewind. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update on SpaceX, Tesla, Starship, or basically anything related to the multi-talented, influential tech icon, Elon Musk. Having said that, let's get into it. NASA's new James Webb Space Telescope launched on December 25, 2021 to study the earliest stars and look further back in time than ever before. According to Elon Musk, JWST is currently observing at Langrange Point 2, L2, nearly 1 million miles, 1.6 million kilometers, it is the biggest and best telescope ever launched. However, after getting launched, James Webb Space Telescope continues to travel away from Earth. And according to Musk, the spacecraft began testing a key antenna on Sunday, December 26th, and from those antennas, Earth will get twice daily science data dumps. Moreover, the spacecraft's temperature sensors and strain gauges started working overnight. Musk explained the whole process of JWST. According to him, the telescope had undergone a second course correction burn about two days after launch. On January 9th, 2022, Musk confirmed the primary mirror wing of the James Webb Space Telescope had successfully latched, marking the end of a two-week process that was NASA's most complicated deployment ever. On January 29th, Elon Musk announced that NASA's James Webb Space Telescope had selected the first star they will aim at with the new observatory and the location is one that is very familiar to us. This star, called HD 84406, is located in the constellation Ursa Major, also known as the Big Bear. This constellation houses a star pattern you may be familiar with as the Big Dipper. As a result, Musk said that web scientists will use the star to focus each of the 18 mirror segments that make up the primary mirror of the observatory. The star 84406 is a sun-like star located about 260 light years away from the Earth and you would need binoculars to see it clearly. But that's just one thing. Musk also answered the question that so many have been asking for so long about Webb being black. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has finally reached its home in space, where it's preparing to observe the cosmos. However, it must remain extremely cold to do so. Since the cool side of Webb is minus 388 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 233 degrees Celsius, and because Webb watches infrared light, aka heat, Musk said, the scope has to stay super cold so that observations aren't affected by additional warmth. Webb's radiator, which radiates heat away from the telescope and other components were painted black to keep it cool enough. Moreover, according to Musk, Webb will study the Kuiper belt and quasars, targets near in astronomical scales and far that can help us understand the universe. Firstly, there is the Kuiper Belt, which contains icy objects left over from the formation of the solar system. Contributing writer Elizabeth Howell writes that one of Webb's first tasks will be to study quasars at the center of distant galaxies to see how these quasars, powered by black holes, tens of billions of times the mass of our sun, shaped the early universe. A lot closer to home is the Kuiper Belt, home to Pluto and its biggest moon, Charon, which Webb will target. Stephanie Waldeck reports that another goal of Webb's is to observe Pluto and some other objects in the Kuiper Belt to learn about their surface chemistry and why there are so many of them. Heidi Hamill, a Webb interdisciplinary scientist for solar system observations, says, Using Webb, we will be able to get information about surface chemistry, which may help us determine why there are so many different populations in the Kuiper Belt. Moreover, Musk also mentioned that when Webb meets crucial temperature, it was a milestone. He said the James Webb Space Telescope's mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, has reached the temperature it needs to operate as designed. As the instrument targets infrared light, which manifests as heat, it must stay below 7 degrees Kelvin, which is minus 447 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 266 degrees Celsius. And after a complicated, careful cooling process, that milestone has been reached. 
As a result, according to Musk, it's expected that the James Webb Space Telescope will be able to study the strangely flickering black hole inside our galaxy, the Milky Way, which is almost impossible to see with current telescopes. As the Webb's first study is going to focus on 19 nearby galaxies and how they fit into the neighborhood's history. As mentioned before in the video, that through infrared observations from deep space, this will give Webb more information about star formation, powerful winds that blow off these stars, and mature stars hidden within spiral galaxies. Currently, Webb is in a commissioning phase. Engineers are aligning 18 hexagonal mirrors on the spacecraft and slowly turning on the instruments. According to Musk, the work on the project is going well, and they're expecting Webb to start doing science observations this summer. Janice Lee, Gemini Observatory Chief Scientist at the National Science Foundation's Noir Lab in Arizona, said, JWST touches on so many different phases of the stellar life cycle, all in tremendous resolution. Webb will reveal star formation at its very earliest stages, right when gas collapses to form stars and heats up the surrounding dust. Physics at high angular resolution in nearby galaxies, FANGS in short, is the project name for the multi-wavelength survey of nearby galaxies. The program includes more than 100 experts who study and understand the evolution of stars, from young ones to mature ones. On average, the galaxies we're talking about are 50 million light years away from Earth and visible face on. These galaxies have already been studied by a number of observatories, each bringing their own skills to the analysis. For instance, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, ALMA, in Chile, has been conducting a survey of 90 galaxies using microwave light, allowing astronomers to map where molecules are present in each galaxy. In addition to the Very Large Telescope in Chile, the Multi-Unit Spectroscopic Explorer, MUSE, instrument of the Very Large Telescope has taken part. In this study, MUSE recorded the light fingerprint of 19 galaxies in their late stages of star formation when they are clear of dust and gas that usually obscure observations. But it is worth noting that the iconic Hubble Space Telescope has participated in this project, observing 38 galaxies in visible and ultraviolet light, and providing high-quality images. Among Webb's tasks will be to search for galaxies with dust, which produce stars but are hard to detect with other wavelengths. According to Musk, the Webb study will determine the age of stellar populations to build more robust statistical models of galaxy formation and find out how dust affects galaxy formation. With the help of this information, researchers will be able to recover the timeline and the process of star formation in galaxies in general, as well as find out about the origin of stars. Well, everyone knows JWST is the most powerful telescope ever built. The gold-plated mirrors and huge sunshade allow it to see the very first stars and galaxies. With this, we can see what the universe looked like after it was created 13.5 billion years ago. According to Musk, this could be a game-changer for humans when they discover aliens exist. Anyway, what do you guys think about this? Tell us in the comments. And most importantly, if you want to be updated on every single topic related to Elon Musk, then you should consider subscribing to the channel and pressing the bell icon. And see you in the next one. Until then, peace.